Okay, so a good reading week activity will be to isolate our seedlings and try and make it so that we only have one per container. And this can be one per pot. If you have extra pots at home, you're welcome to use something like this. Or if you have empty jiffies, you can use those as well. So I'm going to try um, gently removing uh, just some of my weaker ones. And you always want to try and remove the weaker one. And that way, if you do end up breaking it, then it's not as big a loss. So, so I'm going to leave this one here. We've got our primary needles have, have developed nicely and our um, epicaudal and uh, true needles are actually coming out as well. So I want to try and protect the, the larger one as much as I can. So what I'm going to try and do is just loosen up the, the substrate and get this um, stem out of there with the entire root without breaking it. If it tears, then you can try uh, replanting it, but it, it may not survive. So when we do this at the college, we have these transplanting tools that work really well. And of course we don't have those at home. So I'm gonna try a few things and I actually haven't done this yet. So you're gonna see me suffer through it. But I think a chopstick is gonna work really well. If you have chopsticks, you can use that. I've also got just a, a little spoon uh, that I can dig it out with if needed. And I don't know, a screw, because I'm trying to think of things that you might have at home, and obviously it's it's humorous. So what I want to do first is just loosen the soil or the substrate around the stem to be removed. And you want to do this gently because, of course, we don't want to break it. Um, usually, you know, if we've got a tray of trees and, and break one, it's not a big deal. Uh, this year, it might be a little bit of a bigger deal. What I've done already is watered these, completely saturated them, and that makes the soil easier to work with, or the substrate easier to work with. Uh, I might have just felt a little tear, but basically you want to just loosen up the soil and then try giving it a little tug. If it comes out easily, then keep going. If there's resistance, then you want to stop. So this is what I've got, and to be honest, I'm not really sure if I broke it or not. It's hard to tell, but I'm going to put it in its own jiffy and we'll just see what happens. So when we want to plant it into a jiffy, it's the same sort of idea. We want to, I'm going to keep my fingers where I gripped it coming out of the, the substrate. Because what that means is I want all of this under the, the substrate in the new jiffy. So I'm just going to measure it against my chopstick. Okay, then I'm going to make a hole about that deep, okay? And then very gently, I'm just going to place my seedling straight down, trying to get that root all the way in. And then we don't want to, to pack it, but we want there to be some stability. So we're just going to do the best that we can. And now we can hope for the best. So you can do that with all of your seedlings. The um, Spruce are going to be much more difficult than the pine just because they're a little bit smaller. Um, but I'll, I'll do it again. If you feel like that demo was good enough, then don't bother watching this one. But these two are uh, both larger and actually there's a third one in here as well. So um, really and truly looking at the, the two of these, I don't really see one better than the other. I think that this one, the needles are a little more spindly. So I'm going to select this one and I'm just going to do the same process. I'm dripping all over the place here and that's not a big deal. I likely am not going to be able to get this middle one out without damaging uh, this little guy on the side and that's okay. I'm going to do my best but I'm going to try and protect the larger ones where possible. So I'm just loosening just loosening and I'm trying to leave the the one that's remaining in here alone as much as I can okay so I can see that it's loosened because it's not standing up straight ah, I broke it should have left it at the first one if this happens to you don't sweat it just be very very gentle and don't pull that hard <laughs> Good luck.